Hey everyone, my name is Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry again that I have taken so long to film and post anything on this channel. Um, but right now I want to talk about some of my favorite books of 2018. So 2018 in general, I was going through my list and it wasn't like, there wasn't as many books that like completely stood out to me as I wanted them to. Um, I was very surprised. So this list five books that I considered my top reads, things that really stood out to me that I really loved. And even months later, I am still thinking about how much I like these things. Um, this is in no particular order. And this is just how I copy and pasted it onto my computer. <laughs> Word. <laughs> so yeah, the first one I have on this book is Check Please Book One by Ngozi Yukazu. I mean, this was a five out of five read. I have been reading this. It's a webcomic that follows this main character named Biddy as he vlogs and deals with hockey and relationships and friends and college and it's great and he bakes pies. This is a webcomic I've been reading for years so the fact that I have like a physical copy of it in my hand and was able to read all through the first two years of college for him again to read those tweets that I haven't been able to read before um, to see some of the extras it was I already knew what this book was gonna be like and I just I love that I own it and can read it and like hold it in my hands whenever I want. The next one I have on my list is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This one I have a 3.75 rating here but it really did stand out to me. I was not expecting to like this book as much as I did. It takes place in some future where people don't die like medical practices and everything people don't die but they have these things these people called cysts that go around systematically killing people to keep population control under control and we follow two main characters that get trained to be scythes cysts scythes am i saying that right no matter what and yeah i was not expecting to like this as much as i did it grabbed my attention early on and i did not ever like want to put it down there were just some parts that i felt like were a little rushed but all in all this was a great book i started listening to the second book on audiobook over the summer but audiobooks are not really for me so i'm kind of hoping waiting for it to come to my library so that i could actually pick up the second book and actually read it and finish it because i really do want to read and finish that book that series i want to keep going with it next one i have on my list is radio silence by alice osman this was a five out of five read for me this follows our main character who is just a ginormous fangirl and she's a huge fan of this podcast called Radio Silence, I actually think it is. Um, and she gets in contact with the creator who is actually a guy that she goes to school with and she starts, and she becomes friends with him and starts working with him. Um, you got the main character who is a bisexual girl, mixed race girl. Um, you've got the her friend who does the podcast. He, I think, I mean, I know he was queer as well. I can't remember if he was asexual and he was kind of in a relationship with his friend. And it was really nice reading a book that established early on that those two characters were not gonna get together. And this book was about their friendships, but also about whether or not university is for everyone. Also about fandom life. This book was so good. I mean, if you're gonna read anything by Alice Osman, this is, should be at the top of your list. I mean, not that she has a, a huge variety right now, but I love her writing style. I love her characters. I love her storytelling. And Radio Silence is just like a top of the list of all those things. So it's so good. The next one I have on this list is Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn. Again, five out of five. Main character is a biromantic asexual lady mixed race i think or no black it's just black which wow you don't see all that like ever it was probably one of the cutest romances i've ever read and i related a lot to the main character it was so nice to read a book about an asexual character and be able to relate to some of those things um like i said before the relationship the romance was so stinking cute. I think my only thing I would say is that there were just times where things were totally glossed over, like dates the two of them went on when it was like, wait, whoa, they went skydiving 
and this is just mentioned in passing, but otherwise this was a beyond fantastic book. So, uh, so good. And the last one I want to talk about for my top favorites list is The Diviners by Lula Bray. I mentioned, mentioned just the first one, but really the other two books in this series, like this whole series, The Diviners series by Lula Bray, oh my god, oh my god, it is, I was not expecting to like these books as much as I do, but oh my god, they are so, so, so good. It's ridiculous. You follow this group of like six characters as they, all of them basically have some sort of like special powers and they're trying to stop some supernatural evil and it takes place in the 20s and just the atmosphere it like every time I like read them or think about them I kind of picture like a Boz Lerman film like where like that just a grand extravagance like her writing has just that way but it also has a way of making you feel actually kind of creeped out by some of the things I was very surprised that there were definitely moments in these books where I was legit feeling like the heebie-jeebies. It was insane and I was not expecting to feel it because that does not happen often with books that are supposed to be creepy or whatnot. I doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna feel kind of creeped out but I was definitely feeling a little creeped out by it which was a good thing. I loved the characters. I loved the world. I loved everything about it. Um, the first one was a five out of five and then I think after that they were about four out of five just for some, you know, like some things were just a little not as as expanded upon as I wanted them to be. But really they all are like up there. We're talking like four and a half out of five to fives. They are phenomenal. I freaking love them. Um, when I want to talk about my top reads, I want to talk about books that like really stood out to me. Like there, I read a lot of good books, but these were ones that just really stood out to me. So it's a little bit shorter list, but I didn't. These were books that I love, 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 loved. Um, that's my top reads of 2018. I don't know what to say on this. Anyway, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'll try to be consistent with making videos, but I can't promise, I'm not gonna try to promise much of anything. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked what you saw, leave a comment, let me know. Like, subscribe, something maybe, kinda. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Hey, no, no, no.